Well, we got dip shit over. I'm just kidding. This here is Eric, my dad. He decided to join in on me with us while he's in town on the beer reviews. How many we got tonight? Eight. Eight. Travis. Uh, All righty. Well, here. Have the honors of the first one tonight. Yeah. All right. Show them what you got. Name what? it. Say what yeah. it is. Try to get What is that? Oh, speaking of German. Oh, leave it alone. It's huge. Hofbrau. Hofbrau. Oktoberfest. Travis? Hofbrau really? Oktoberfest. Travis, right. leave it alone. It's going to suffer. You're looking label. It. We'll see what it tastes like. Show them the label. We'll see it. Oh, can you see the label? There's the label. I guess I better pour you all first. I think like it's yours. Yeah, just pour a third and then we'll pour. We're kind of getting an idea now how much we're going to get. Oh my god. Oh, keep it in. It's on your foot. It's on your foot. And then the next will smell. What do you think? I think it's close. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it looks pretty good. It smells like curse. <laughs> Travis. Well. Hey, hey, no. Not with the camera, man. It tastes similar to Kurs. Similar, a little extra twang with it. Yeah, yeah it does. I mean, you can, taste, you can taste a little bit more of the uh, wheat in it than you would in, in Kurs. Not too terribly sweet. No, it's not. It's not a bad beer. Most Oktoberfests we've tried, we've it's liked. It's got good color. It's got good color to it. If you like a lighter beer, which I'm more of a lighter beer than a heavier beer. Yeah. I would have to say it's not bad at all. Yeah, and I figured this was one of the brands. Or is it made? Should be Germany. Yeah. Uh, here. I'm not too keen on Oktoberfest, but this actually isn't too bad. <laughs> oh, that was a big one. Well, it's bit. actually bottled here. Really? Bottled in the U.S., huh? Uh, imported by S&H Independent Premium Brands, 1792 something street. Unit 505, Denver, Colorado. So it's just so it's a German recipe. Product of Germany. So it's a German beer, but got bottled here in the U.S. Right. So it's so, still a German beer. Yeah, it's a German beer, just a German recipe, but it's made here in the United States. Yeah. Which isn't bad, because guess what? It creates jobs in the United States. <laughs> but yet you get Germany with it. Uh, the way we... Uh, we get, get some alcohol? No, the way... Oh. Right now, it's not. It's not? It'd be a lookup item. I'd say it's pretty close to six. I think I, I think I would agree. I think I would agree with that. It's smooth. It's smooth. It's a light beer. Uh, if you're not into a real dark hopsy beer, you know, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I would I would give it a six. No, no I mean the, the alcohol content. Oh, I thought you meant six percentage. No, the way we do the rating, it. we'll we'll turn around. You throw up a number, and you so they can't say someone's just saying it because the oh, other person. Okay, all right. So they know it's the actual true rating. All right, well I'll change my rating then. <laughs> okay, go ahead. No, we're doing the alcohol <laughs> percentage here. I'm, I'm going to say 5.5 percent alcohol. I'll say it's pretty close to six. I'll give it seven. Seven percent alcohol, or seven for the number. Seven for the alcohol. <laughs> Make sure you're on on the right one this time. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what are y'all talking about. All right, y'all ready? Alcohol percentage. What are we at on alcohol percentage only? Six point three. Oh, point three. He was closest. He was closest. I was off oh. by point seven. I was the furthest off. I was eight off. But well, it is Oklahoma, and if you pick it up in the liquor store, you know, I, I think it's going to have a higher... Yeah. Well, <laughs> there, there's a lot of them that are three-point something. Uh, really? Give them much in the liquor store. Yep. Yeah, it's, you know, yeah. Heck, the highest one we ever did, it was nasty as really Tokolo. Mm -hmm. It was 18-point something percent alcohol. i got to bring up another oh, beer yeah. that y'all that y'all did a while back. Flat tire. We got one in the fridge. Y'all didn't like flat tire? Fat tire. Fat tire, excuse me. It, the second time we reviewed it, we liked it a little better, but it's still not something we'd want to do. Do you want to know what's unique about that beer that I don't know if y'all knew about it? I, I was introduced to that beer in Portland, Oregon, 
Uh, and I, this is something I learned why it's in Portland, Oregon, but do you realize that Portland, Oregon is the microbrewing capital of the nation? Hmm. I never knew that. Every bar you can walk into down there, they brew their own beer. <laughs> and so you can walk in and get a sampler platter and actually sample every single one of their beers. Kind of like some of those brewery type deals downtown. Exactly. And so we, I was there when I was back when I was working with Tinker Air Force Base, and we had a conference there. And so every night <laughs> we were going down and we were going from bar to bar to bar to bar trying their beers, and then we would stumble back to the hotel and then pick up where we left <laughs> off the next night. <laughs> so it was actually kind of fun. So sorry, I didn't mean to throw that all in there. Oh, that's one of the word turnovers. You say your number, then. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna give it a okay, and I'll give it a all right, Stu. Uh, for like I said, for an Oktoberfest, it's one of the better ones I've had. I give it eight. Eight. I gave it a seven. Yeah. Seven point five. Pretty good. Pretty yeah. good. All right. I, it's definitely a beer I would drink again. Yeah. Uh, may not be my exact first pick, but it was a, it was an enjoyable beer. I liked it. I think it's pretty good. All right, let's go to the next one. All right.